Let's take a look at from fractions, comparing fractions using our benchmark of one half. Take a look at problem B. I know that one half is more than a third because I would need one and a half thirds to have a half. So I know one half is greater than one third. Let's take a look at problem C. One fifth is less than a half because I would need two and a half fifths to make a half. Seven elevenths is greater than a half because five and a half elevenths is a half. So I know that one fifth is less than seven elevenths. Let's take a look at problem B using our benchmark of a half. I know that three and a half sevenths is a half, so four sevenths is more than a half, and two eighths is less than a half because four eighths makes the half. So I know four sevenths is greater than two eighths. I know three sixths for problem E, three sixths is a half, so five sixths is more than a half. I know that six twelfths is a half, so five twelfths is less than a half. So I know five sixths is greater than five twelfths. Looking at problem F, I know that six twelfths is a half, so four twelfths is less than a half, and eight twelfths is more than a half. So four twelfths is less than eight twelfths. I know that two and a half fifths is a half, so one fifth is less than a half. I know that three and a half sevenths makes a half, so I know four sevenths is more than a half. Now I know that one fifth is less than four sevenths. And the last question, I know that three sixths is a half, so one sixth is less than a half. I know two fourths is equal to a half. So one sixth is less than two fourths.